All right, good morning. This is Mr. Amos Kester. I'm back in Umoya about two months ago. Also, late last year, I actually came up with an earlier video on this farm you're seeing. This is a farm that was constructed on extensive system, which was a free range cutting method. And I was trying to restructure it when I was here for the first time. I came to do the restructuring work. And this is actually the restructured farm. You can see now it's all intensive. And we actually stocked the farm yesterday. Uh, it's very unusual for you to hear my voice without seeing me, I know. But don't worry. Just uh, be a little bit patient. You're going to see me and I'm going to show you something very important you need to know today as well i'll be giving you a very brief lecture at the end of this uh, video clip so i just want you to see the farm uh, we've done the first part where we actually stocked the snails yesterday and this whole part you see it covered with nets and everything was where we stocked yesterday we have a total of 515 pens on this farm it's actually the largest i've constructed in the east so I'm just going to show you the side of the pens where we've not put the nets, but it's almost done. I'll do just that and come back and show you what uh, you have to do once you receive your snails. So this is uh, the whole of this part you can see is complete and stocked. And now if you look further, you can see the pens are not covered with the wire nets on this part so we still have about 300 or more pens left to be covered so uh, this is what it looks like before you bring in the nets and the wire mesh or the Boko Haram wire in order to do the covering so like I said it's a total of 200 sorry 515 pens we have here and we actually stocked with 5,000 snows yesterday so uh, this is what it looks like and also you can see there's a tarpaulin running uh, the length of the building this is to keep the environment cool and also provide an artificial shade in order to darken the parts where the snows will not be suffering from sunlight or splashes from the rain all right so you're going to see me any minute from now i'm going to show you something you need to know there you I want to show you something very important. Now, when you receive snails, it's ideal the next day. We stocked this farm yesterday. The next day, you open your pens, like what I'm doing now. Open the dry leaves to check for mortality. Because of the stress the snails must have undergone the day to the arrival, the, usually you have casualties. So the next day after stocking your farm, you go through all the pens, open them up and check for mortality. That is just the next day. You only do that once. So you stock yesterday, today, you open the dry leaves and check for mortality. So if there's any dead snow, you are able to get it out and get that sorted out. So it gives you, uh, it helps to maintain the farm because if you don't do that, the dead snails that just came probably two days after the, day the snails arrived will remain there for the next one week and could actually go on to cause other harmful effects on the pen. So what you need to do is, I know I've not said this before, so anytime you receive snails, the next morning try to open up the dry leaves and check for mortality. Because of the stress on transit and stress of you stocking them, sometimes you have casualties just after the day you, made, you did the stocking. So that's what I want you to see. Uh, like I said, this video is coming from Umwaya, the capital city of Abia State. I was here before and now we're stocking the farm. So uh, if you want to go into snow farming, you can give us a call on our number plus two, three, four. 8068525032 God bless you and bye bye